Well, welcome back to another episode of Who the F***, the show that aims to take a deep dive into some of the acts performing across festival season 2021. It's been a while since I've done one of these. My apologies. I'm getting into the full swing of these now. I've got a few of them recorded, a uh, few of them written, and hopefully you can get some more WTF episodes out before Reading happens this year. Uh, I went around the site yesterday and flew my drone, and it's an empty, overgrown field at the moment. And I can't believe that in, like, what, three months today, it's going to start turning into, like, a uh, full grown festival with people in it. That feels a bit strange. In today's episode, we're looking at Alfie Templeman. He is an amazing singer songwriter, uh, indie artist from Bedfordshire. If you've never heard of him before, hopefully this video will help answer the question Who the f is Alfie Templeman? Wait a lot. Do you want to know the truth? It's a coming back to you. Alfie George Templeman, born the 26th of January, 2003, is from Carlton, Bedfordshire, England. Genre-wise, he's described as indie pop, alternative pop. He also describes himself as indie R&B. I think that's kind of pretty true. His influences, in my opinion, he reminds me of some of the great singer-songwriters from indie in the last, like, 15 years. I'm talking people like Declan McKenna and Jack Pinata. I'm in a pain. Whilst also having this really cool um, Billie Eilish influence and also people like the 1975. I think he has that real kind of electronic edge that I think works really well for him. He started recording at home and making CDs with his friends at the age of 10. Gathering a good idea of production at the age of 13. 13 for production, that's mental. In 2017, he started putting out his own music with some kind of early EPs named Wonderland Dreamin' and Dazed Days. Good luck trying to find these on any on the internet. They've been banished from streaming services, but you can go and check these out on YouTube. In 2018, at the age of 15, God, I was eight. I was 28 in 2018. That's disgusting. He released his debut single, Orange Juice. It's the a record with a real inner speaker era, Tame Impala kind of feel to it. This was then followed up with a string of collaborations with artists Ariel Days, Sully and Carpet Garden. Do you ever... Before releasing his official debut EP, Like and Animal, I think that's Like and Animal, featuring title track Like and Animal. <laughs> In 2019, he would follow this up with his second EP, Sunday Morning Serial, which featured single Stop Thinking About Me. And the EP's title track, Sunday Morning Serial. Sunday morning. As well as the standout single, Tragic Love. Currently it's on 94,000 plays on SoundCloud. That's no joke, SoundCloud's a, not an indie man's game. It's a hip hop world. It's tragic love. By this point, Templeman has really started to develop his sound and he's only 16. In 2019, he puts out singles, Used to Love and Don't Go Wasting My Time. I don't wanna feel. I don't know you anymore And the first record that I came across, Who Am I? And what a fucking corker that is. Funny how a song so in late 2019, he'd go on tour with a small emerging sports team. I caught this set and it really caught my attention. It was so good. I'd already had the, like his single in my in my library and I thought, ah, it's always good really good to see a support band and you kind of know a record or two. He was great. Didn't realise he was still a child, but um, put on a really good show. I don't have any footage though, so I've completely jacked this from his YouTube channel because he vlogged it because he's a good lad. Jeez. In 2020, it was a massive year for Alfie, starting out with the brilliant happiness in liquid form. This would then go on to be the title for his third EP. It's also his most popular record on 301,000 plays on YouTube and 9 million streams on Spotify. The EP would go on to feature other records, Obvious Guy. I don't wanna be an obvious guy. 
and My Best Friend, a record uh, which features Coach Party, a record that certainly has a real Billie Eilish influence for me. My best friend is a killer in disguise. She'll show you things you've never seen. Templeman finished off 2020 with two singles, one called Shady, which is great. I'm tired of seeing you on the and the stupidly catchy Forever Isn't Long Enough. I don't want this wave to stop Because forever isn't long enough both records would have easily been placed in the first two Friendly Fires albums and no one would have even thought about an eyelid. Trust me when I say that is a massive compliment. At the start of this year, he announced that, this would, that the latter single were going to be the title track for his upcoming mini album... Look at that, boys and girls. Pink vinyl. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Before releasing the brilliant Everybody's Gonna Love Somebody. Everybody's gonna love somebody. But if it ain't you, then I love nobody. A record that really reminds me of like, it's his most ambitious to date, that's, that's, for, that's for sure. But also has this real kind of 1975 impl influence with like this really cool, I can't really put my name on like an, an artist. I don't think it's like Duran Duran or anyone, but it's that kind of 80s Miami Vice feel. It's all about the swing and the hi-hats. He, he, he's just done an amazing job. This is his first time playing Reading and Leeds, and he's playing in the dance stage just after Kenny Hoopla, both of which make no sense to me on the Saturday at Reading, Sunday at Leeds. Currently, it looks like he'll be clashing with Biba Doobie, which is a massive booking area in my in uh, in my book. I'm not sure if that's actually going to be the case, because we've still got more to be announced, but yeah, currently, if you were going to take it at face value, then that is going to be a clash, so I hope that isn't the case, Mr. Booking Manager of Reading and Leeds. I am super excited to see the career of Alfie Templeman progress. Uh, making this video I know is just going to be part one of many many videos over the coming years because I feel like he's going to be coming back to play r &L over and over and over again and I'm really really excited to see where he goes. I'm gagging to check out his set. This album is in my album of the year category. I don't know why he's got it a mini album. It's just brilliant. It's just a brilliant album. It's so good. I'm really 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 excited to see where it goes from here. I'm gushing like a crazy man now. But yeah Alfie Templeman you have a 31 year old fanboy and uh, I'm really excited to check out your set at Reading this year. Will you you be checking him out at this year's fest. Oops. Will you be checking him out at this year's festival? Have you seen him perform before? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, I will endeavour to get more of these videos out in the coming weeks. Uh, I've got quite a few written now, so hopefully we can get some more WTF episodes out. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as always, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>